Hello, I'm Dana Manciagli of Cut the Crap, Get a Job. Today's topic is about interview attire mistakes. The job search process is all about first impressions. Whether you're on the phone or face to face, you need to always be the part and perform. You want your appearance to convey a confident, respectful, and professional persona. And you want to show that you're prepared. You're a prepared job seeker. Remember, you are on stage all the time. We don't want this to be all about what you wear, but this interview day is your best day. And what you wear is only part of what you do in that interview. And when I say interview, reminder, it's not just the formal interview. This also should hold true for you for networking, for informationals, even meeting someone at the coffee shop who might be able to give you help. You need to always watch how you look because you're being watched. So let's get right into the top mistakes and some recommendations about your interview attire, but I'm gonna call it your job search attire. First, let's start with the men. No bold colors, no large prints or plaids, Please don't wear suit jacket and pants that don't match. Slacks and sport coat are the way to go if you're going to go a little more casual. No suits of velvet, suede, leather. And be sure your suit fits. Try it on weeks before your interview or your meeting. And if it doesn't fit, take it in and get it tailored. Invest in at least one interview suit. I know dollars are hard to come by, but at least if you have one, you'll be great. We see men coming in with no socks or short socks. So get the right socks and no athletic shoes, Crocs, sandals, flip-flops, none of that. Let's go to the men's shirt. No short sleeves or collarless shirts. Always wear the best. Please don't wear bold shirts in flashy colors and prints and no flashy ties. You should just have a watch and a ring only. Let's go over to the women. You may wear pantsuits or knee-length suits. Yes, hosiery. Unfortunately, you may not own a pair, but in formal interviews, you should wear hose. You should wear low to moderate heels, no sandals, no flip-flops, and no four to five inch and sometimes six inch heels coming into the office. You'd be surprised. Women, necklines, not too low, no straps showing. We don't want to see the undergarments. Hemlines, they need to be an inch to two inches below the knee, minimally at the knee, but any higher than that, not a good impression. And no perfume women, no cologne men. Many interviewers, HR people, hiring managers are allergic, just no perfume. Let's bring all of you together and talk about do's and don'ts on your attire beyond just the clothing. Briefcases, portfolio, and two pens. One is backup. You can buy inexpensive portfolios for your resume, your cover letter, plenty of copies, even the questions you're going to ask in the interview. Bring in your notes and show that you're organized. When you look disheveled when you walk in with your coats hanging and things falling out, it's a sign. Turn your cell phones off and no hats or sunglasses. Being prepared for the interview and what you're going to wear will give you the confidence too. So I want you to raise the bar on your interview attire, nope, your job search attire. Cut the crap, get a job, and good luck. <laughs>